you guys ever seen anything like that? It's a uh, mosquito net to prevent the mosquitoes from getting into bed with us. Here they call mosquitoes Mosha. And this is our messy room. I'm very embarrassed to show you guys this. <laughs> and uh, it is 2 p.m. now and everyone has left home and uh, we just slept in because um, since the first day we have been like you know really busy it was go 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 since we landed and we had like parties uh, shopping weddings yeah so today is just a chill day with a husband <laughs> So you want porretta, right? Yeah, okay. Porretta. Do you want... Which is Singapore's what? version of roti prata. Mm -hmm. And she asked what curry would you like? Is it more hash or no hash? Hash kia rasa. Hash yeah, yeah, I think more hash then. Is <laughs> it Juliana will say porretta or hash kabo? Hash is duck. I'm going to dim pasta barba. Dim pasta barba. Everything looks so... Extravagant. So we're preparing duck curry right now. I've never seen duck curry before. I've been asking to have it every day. <laughs> we're currently staying in my mother in law's vacation home in Bangladesh. Check out her exquisite taste in furniture. And of course, a huge shout out to Bubu Auntie who helped us prepare our breakfast this morning. It's really nice to enjoy some authentic Bengali homemade dishes like this duck curry and porita. <laughs> The main important thing there, the production, I can do anything. So if I can see like, like you know, uh, some sort of samples or any pictures, mm. and then what kind of print there, is there any embroideries or something else, mm -hmm. then I can, I can like, you know, I can give you a prize or I can give you some ideas. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, one for the day. Ask him what is this thing up here? Is that a supplier or that? also known as Asan Monzil, is one of Bangladesh's most prominent historical landmarks. This magnificent building served as the official residential palace and seat of the Nawab of Dhaka in the 19th century. The palace's distinctive pink colour comes from the pink paint used during its renovation, giving it its popular name. Built on the site of an old French factory by Nawad Abdul Ghani, the richest man in Dhaka in the late 1800s, Asan Manzil is a splendid example of the Indo-Saracenic revival architecture. It has witnessed many historical events including the decline of the Mughals, the rise of the British Empire and the eventual birth of Bangladesh. 
After falling into disrepair, it was restored in the 1980s and transformed into a museum in 1992. Today it showcases the history, lifestyle and cultural heritage of the Nawabs of Dhaka through its exhibits including photographs, furniture and household items. The museum also provides insight into the socio-cultural and political history of the region, making a must-visit for those interested in the history of Dhaka and Bangladesh. I had hoped to visit the Pink Palace during my last trip to Dhaka in 2020 but didn't manage to, so I was thrilled to finally witness its full glory. So we are now in a little cuddly boat. Just a short 10 minute walk from the Pink Palace, we arrived at the Burigonga River, the vibrant lifeblood of Dhaka. This ancient river known as the Old Ganges is a bustling artery of connectivity, bringing together communities and cultures along its banks. Big boat. Big boat coming through. Despite facing environmental challenges, I've learned that efforts are underway to rejuvenate its waters, aiming to restore the river to its former glory. Still on the boat, and there we can see the pink towers. As big as my nails. <laughs> it's the best way to spend Valentine's Day, you know. So romantic. Just ask. Three. And the boat is four. These big ones are called launches. It'll take a launch to go to far away parts of be there. You might not be able to tell from here, but sitting in this tiny boat, painstakingly rowed by a hardworking boatman, I'm completely mesmerized by the beauty of this river and this city. I certainly hope to return to this river one day. We have returned from our little cruise. Look! Doggy! En route to the Pink Palace earlier, I encountered numerous horse-drawn carriages. Our cousin Rugby explained that these serve as a form of public transport in Dhaka, complete with fixed stops, hmm, much like buses. The key difference? You're journeying in a carriage pulled by horses and not riding on wheels. Our Cinderella moment on a horse carriage. Yay! 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 In my last Bangladesh travel vlog, I took you behind the scenes of a Gai Hulu ceremony, an enchanting pre-wedding event filled with vibrant traditions. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to catch up for an unforgettable journey complete with a surprise appearance by one of Bangladesh's iconic rock bands.
And today, I'm excited to bring you along to the heart of the celebration, the wedding day itself. And what could be more romantic than tying the knot on Valentine's Day? <laughs> Join me as we step into this love-filled festivity where traditions meet timeless romance. There goes my virtual discs. <laughs> Yeah. Nothing, just going against traffic, that's all. Nothing to see here. <coughs> just like Singapore. If you hadn't told me, I would have thought we were in auction. <laughs> The point is up there. Look at the cable situation. Yeah, it's nice. Guess where we are? We're at our cousin Rugby's house. Our second uncle's house. And that's the dining room, and uh, through there we have the kitchen. This is the dining room. Another bedroom. And that's the kitchen. And uh, this is super cool. They have fridges with locks here. So convenient. This is the kitchen you already showed them. Yeah. The kitchen. And 
So we're having some Bengali desserts we brought back from uh, our cousin's house yesterday and Bobby's gonna do a little intro of every one of them. So this is called a jilafi, so mm -hmm. I love this thing. Mm -hmm. And this is called a laddu. Mm -hmm. They thought this, this is was the laddu. Yeah, this orange one. Mm -hmm. I think they thought this was called a kalo jam, but I'm not really sure. And I've got no idea what this is. No idea what this is, but this is the best one actually. The white one. Yeah, my mother-in-law says it tastes like souffle. I think it tastes like souffle and cheesecake and uh, is the least sweet one. Yeah, so they're, they're all hyper sweet. <laughs> You can hear the call for prayer in the wind. Mm. With the sunset, it's almost like some Arabian mystique. I love it. I love it. I feel nice. Today like I'm Aladdin. dressed. Oh yeah, like Aladdin. Today I'm dressed in um, jupe, jove, and uh, this necklace from my uh, mother-in-law. She got it from here, and then this skirt that uh, my parents-in-law got it in a uh, horn seat in the UK. And for me, like <laughs> every guy who lives in Singapore, I'm in Uniqlo. <laughs> and now we're at the back of our house. This really nice lake over there. Yeah. yeah. So much character here. How beautiful it is. The colors here are so beautiful. We're here at Jamuna Future Park, one of the biggest shopping centers here in Taka. And uh, the things the are world. really expensive. Yeah, the things are really expensive. Yeah. For a pair of shoes that I really like, it cost about 3,800 Taka which is about $50 Singapore dollars which it's, here in the local context is quite expensive it's quite expensive actually even in Singapore context it's so expensive too so anyway here's the place a lot of really cool shops so we're just gonna window shop for now <laughs> This is perfect for the theme in our house right now for summer. So we're going for a tropical Balinese natural theme. These are really cool. This is the Just found some really beautiful fabrics. Gonna make them into dresses for tomorrow's wedding. As an express, ah. we're gonna deliver it by midday tomorrow. We are now in some shop. Yeah. Winning with mommy. Bring up Braka. The cast was over. Soft and hot. Got him. Soft and hot bread. Nam bread. Got some kind of curries coming along. That's probably the jar crazy. What are these? And he's wearing the same thing as Bobby. The sure one. Yeah. And we are also wearing masks. Yeah, and I'm wearing masks. We are here at the 
wedding. Yeah, he's dressed to the nines. Are you enjoying it? Hmm. <laughs> So here we are with Smile Vaya, the executive director of the Holiday Inn in Dhaka. Say hello, Smile Vaya. This is Juliana. Yes. My younger brother, wife. Yes. So nice, <laughs> pretty, and talented girl. Very true. In this That's world. True. I agree. Mom, and my advisor, Hello, Baba. This is nothing much of good option. So we'll be taking a look around, see how the hotel compares. <laughs> You guys are gonna think it's weird to show you this, but this thing actually changes colors when you close the door. Let me show you. So right now I'm in the toilet cubicle, so you can see that this is green right now, and I'm gonna lock it. And it turns red. Like a car park lot. So interesting. It turns green. Like my dress. I mean, the Singapore will be legal and people will be this one. Good job. Oh, that's the gym. Wow! <laughs> Surprise! Oh wow! That wasn't meant to happen. No. It's a helipad. Oh wow! For helicopters. Hmm? Oh wow! Look. Uh. And you're making more hotels. No, this is Sunaga Hotel. This. Who is this? Sunaga Hotel. That's Pan Pacific. Pan Pacific. Where is your other hotel? Where this is Sunaga Hotel, Continental, Sheraton. Okay, oh, this is wood mm -hmm. made in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This Indian wood. Birthday, marriage day, this place. Are every day night. They will have belly ah, dancers. for birthday, belly party parties, is it? Yeah. Oh, check out the gym. It's a fully equipped gym. Thank you. Thank you. So now we're heading into the uh, spa. Thank you. Okay. And this is the waiting area. They call it the beauty parlor. The beauty parlor. Where you can get your hair and makeup done. Oh, here at the beauty parlor. Look at how well equipped it is. You have the steamer. And then the sink to do your hair. Huge mirror right here. Hi. And this is the uh, bridal area. It's like a little VIP area. So if you're having your wedding, you can book this room. Do your makeup. Oh, wow. Look at these rooms. Yeah, it's really nice rooms. You didn't even 
So if you're a bit shy, then uh -huh. you press this button uh -huh. and it blacks it up. Uh -huh. You press it again. Ta da! 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 Ta Spain, Spain, Spain. Huh? Ah. Wow, did you see the chandelier? What? Wow. Here they are preparing the buffet for dinner. Oh, look at that. So regal. So luxurious. This is very good. Wow, you have a chocolate fondue towel. Yeah, this is Kaloja. Yeah. So we have Bengali. This is Kaloja. Yeah. Or is that one Kaloja? I think oh, I this one is Kaloja. This is Kaloja. Thank you so much. Enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very educational. <laughs> so we're going to the gym. It's really near our place actually. Huh? It's about just like five minutes walk. Yeah, it's very close to the house. Yeah, lucky us. Twenty. Then This is the famous new market where you get really good deals here. You can bargain as long as you don't speak English, you get a good price. What are the clothes that you will see in HM and Zara and yeah. Next? They're made in Bangladesh, so often you will find them. Are crazy prices at these markets. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe some bike cleaning. What's going on? It's a Halloween decoration. Halloween is not over yet, yeah? Yeah, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Ah. It's a Halloween decor. a.m. and with a heavy heart we have to let everyone know that we're leaving Bangladesh today so this is the room we've been staying in for the past 10 days it's yeah. been a good trip did you enjoy yourself yeah it was good mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This journey to Bangladesh was a beautiful blend of excitement, warmth and affection. Reuniting with my mother-in-law after three long years apart, no thanks to the pandemic, was particularly special. It's true what they say about absence making the heart grow fonder. Our conversations more meaningful, our moments together more cherished. We are already making plans for a festive reunion in the UK this Christmas. I am deeply thankful for the warmth and generosity extended to me by everyone in Bangladesh. Their kindness made my visit unforgettable, and I highly recommend adding Bangladesh to your travel list. It would be a trip that promises lots of enriching experiences. This is it. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Stay tuned for more stories in my upcoming vlogs. Till next time. Mm -hmm.